So for this one, I'm going to show you the first five notes of the B harmonic minor scale, as that is where most of the riff is based around. So those five notes are, if we use our ring finger on the 8th fret of the D string, our pinky on the 9th fret of the D string, so so far we've got, then we move up to the G string on the 6th fret with our first finger, the 7th fret with our middle finger, and the 9th fret with our pinky. So that would be on the G string, 6, 7, 9. So all together those five notes are... So most of the riff is based on those five notes, and the B harmonic minor, just in case anyone's interested, is the same thing as the natural minor scale, a regular minor, except it has a major seventh instead of a minor seventh. And the first note here on the D string, on the 8th fret, is that major 7th. So the riff starts like this. The first three notes are the first three notes of that scale fragment I showed you. The 8th and 9th frets of the D string. And the 6th fret of the G string. So our first three notes are... Our next four notes... Are we play those three notes again? And this time we go up to the 7th fret of the D string. So our first three notes are this. Then the four notes after that are... So just working our way up that scale there. Our next four notes, we start on the 9th fret of the D string. And then we play those three notes on the G string. The 6th, 7th, and 9th. That would be the next four. So all together we've got our group of three, our second group of four, and our third group of four. And for this part of the riff, it's good to maintain a one finger for per fret approach. This will help you be able to play it much more smoothly and cleanly. So when you get to here, we're going to move up to the B string on the 7th fret with our middle finger and hammer on and pull off from the 8th fret with our ring finger. So very slowly that would be... So all together we have... And then we would come back down those three notes of the G string. Ninth, seventh, sixth. Like that. And that's part one of the riff. So like I said, it's a good idea to get this scale fragment under your fingers first. So once you're very comfortable with that, then the rest of the riff just works from that. So, part one of the riff slowly. Okay, so part two of the riff starts off in the same way, and it goes right up to that part with the hammer on, on the B string, so you play up that far. Now when we get to this part, we move down to the sixth fret with our first finger, and we play this figure, which is just sixth fret of the B string, seventh fret of the B string, and back to the sixth fret of the B string. So it would be... And that's part two of the riff. Once you've got part one down, you've got most of the riff down. So let's play part two slowly. Okay, part three of the riff. This is where... This is the only part of the riff that's actually really different from all of the other parts. We're going to start by barring on the 7th fret with our first finger. 
on the B string, G string and D string. Those three notes. And we're going to play 7th fret of the B string, 7th fret of the G string, 7th fret of the D string, then the 9th fret of the A string with our ring finger. Then we come back up those 7th fret notes. Back to the D string, back to the G string, and back to the B string. So all together, slowly, that would be... Even more slowly. So after that figure, we play this lick. And that is, we start off on the 9th fret of the B string and play. Then we pick again and bend up to the 10th fret of the B string. Then we, we let that bend back down. And then play the 7th fret of the B string. Like that. So all together so far, part 3 of the riff is... So then we're going to play this lick, which is the 6th and 7th frets of the B string. And then we come down to the G string and play 7, 6, 7. So those five notes all together are... And that's part three of the riff. Let's play it all together slow. And then after this, we just play part one again. And then we finish here on the ninth fret of the D string, which is our root B note. So all together the whole riff slow is... So this is a really fun one to play. Um, Matt Bellamy does a great job here of making a scale sound like a really exciting riff. I mentioned before this is the B harmonic minor scale because it includes this major seventh note. But it also, when we get up here, includes the flattened fifth that would be indicative of a blue scale, the B uh, blue scale. So it's kind of a hybrid scale in that way. It's also a lot of fun to improvise with if you're a little bit more advanced in your lead. Um, a famous user of the harmonic minor scale would be Ingve Malmsteen. So if you're familiar with his kind of neoclassical dramatic sounds, that would be the scale he uses. And including the flat fifth there to make it a blues scale also adds an interesting flavor to it as well. To get the tone for this one, you want to use your bridge pickup, preferably a guitar with humbuckers. I've only got a Strat here, but if you have one with humbuckers, that'd be better. And the main way to get this tone is to use a fuzz pedal. So hope you have fun with this one and I'll see you next time.